Once you have that, that means that you have succeeded. Hey what's up guys so are you and today i'm going to be showing you how you can make your own bootable pen drive without much hassle in this video i'm going to be showing you two different methods with which you can make this pen drive into a bootable pen drive for your installation of windows on your laptop or pc so the first method would involve a normal software that you have to download and is loop friendly so if you don't have any knowledge of any computer related stuff you can just follow the video and everything will be linked in the description so make sure you check that out and just follow the steps in order for you to be able to make this pen drive into a windows bootable pen drive second method however requires some knowledge of command prompt and commands so if you want to learn you can learn it through the video as well but a prior knowledge of some commands is actually helpful and without wasting much time now let's get started Okay so the first method involves you to plug in the pen drive like so and the moment you will plug in your pen drive you will have a notification on your laptop that is plugged in right so this is the pen drive that i'm going to be using for making it windows bootable pen drive so at the moment i can see it's all empty so the first step you need to make sure that it's all empty for that right click on it and click on format and once it's there you have to just select this restore device default don't change anything else if you want to name it that's fine without naming that's fine make sure this quick format is still ticked on so as to consume a bit less time and click on start and okay and it's going to take a while for the pen drive to be formatted but once formatted it's going to show you the green symbol saying that the format was successful and this is the icon that you will get once your format is successful click on okay now if you look in the description you will see that there is a link of a software and this software is ruffers all you need to do is download it from the link that i gave you and then install it and the installation is pretty easy so after you install you will see something like this now the moment you have plugged your pen drive and open this software it is automatically going to detect which pen drive you have connected to your pc or laptop so make sure you select this one right because if you choose some other device probably you have two pen drives connected to your laptop don't do that remove all unnecessary hardware from your laptop and only connect the pen drive which you want to convert it to windows bootable pen drive and once you have that select the second thing you need to download is also linked in the description that is the iso file of windows so you have to go there and download it and click on this boot selection you have to click on this and sell, make sure it's selected on disk or iso image and then click on select and now you have to find out the place where your windows iso is that you just downloaded for me it's over here so i'm just going to be selecting this and clicking on open now after you do that it's going to select all the other options by itself you don't have to change anything else it's not required and now the moment it says status ready you have to click on start it's going to give you a notification saying that all the data in the device is going to be wiped out and that is fine click on okay and now you have to do is just wait it's going to be finishing it after a while like it's going to take some time depending upon your laptop but once it's finished i'll show you what it shows and now that you can see that the status changed to ready that means that your bootable pen drive is all done so if I close this and open my computer, you will see that the icon of pen drive changed along with the size. Now instead of the pen drive being completely empty, it has some things inside and as well as the icon changed and the name also changed. And the best way to verify that this is bootable or not is just to plug it in and check inside these should be the contents like setup.exe and all the other files. Once you have that, that means that you have succeeded. Now let's talk about the second way in which you can make a pen drive bootable. For that, I'll just go and format this one so that we have an empty disk. And once I do this, let's see, there you go. And now I can close this. All right. So now you have to do, you don't need any software. You have to right click on the start menu and click on run. After that, open CMD. With that, you will have now a command prompt in front of you. So the first thing that you need to do is called disk part. 
and press enter and give the required permission that it's asking. It will launch another window with a dispart.exe set. Now make this as full screen because this is the place now where you would be working. And once you have this thing, the first command that you have to type is list disk. You will see two disks being listed here. Now disk 0 is my hard drive which is 119 GBs and disk 1 is around 14 GBs and that is the pen drive. Now you have to be very careful here because if you select the wrong one you will be ending up wiping off everything from your computer. I have to select disk 1. The disk that I have to select is 1 so I have to try it select disk 1 and press enter. It will give you um, output saying disk 1 is now the selected disk. Once you have that you have to run the command clean to clean the disk which you selected. After that it's completed it's gonna tell you disk pass succeeded in cleaning the disk. After the clean command is successfully executed you have to select create partition primary and these commands you can find in the description as well so you can just copy paste and then change the number of the disk that you have to select. After that once you create the partition you might want to do select partition so select partition 1 you have to always do select partition 1 here always select partition 1 don't change from 1 to 2 or 2 to 3 no select partition 1 that's what you have to do for the next step you have to format this USB drive into FAT32 file system so this is the command and pressing enter it's gonna be showing me the progress bar now you have to wait for it to finish and after it is finished, it's gonna say disk part successfully formatted the volume. The last and the final step is called assign. This will assign a variable to your pen drive. Open my computer and you will see that this pen drive is at the moment empty. Right? Okay, so now go ahead at the place where you downloaded the Windows ISO file from the description. Link is in the description, so download that. And once you have this, double click on it. It's gonna open something like this. All you have to do is copy all of these files, copy, and paste it inside the pen drive that you just made bootable. And wait. Once this is complete, your pen drive will become a bootable pen drive of Windows 10 since the ISO is of Windows 10. And similarly, if you want to install Windows 7, Windows 8, all you have to do is download the ISO of that window instead. And that's how you convert this normal pen drive into a Windows bootable pen drive. And this was not all, there are a lot of things that you can learn every day and make yourself a more like a tech educated person. So for that, all you need to do is stick to the channel by clicking on subscribe. If you enjoyed watching this video, press that like button. And if you have any questions, queries or if you get stuck somewhere, ask me in the comment section below or on my Instagram here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.